And then should be tagged on the World Cultural Center if it's if you go to their page, but also on the Wilderness page. This is a beautiful space. We've got all this, some of the new artwork from the Wilderness Tree, or from the Wilderness books. This one here, these two are from the Wilderness Tree Top Tales. This here is going to be on a newer book called Wilderness River Rhymes. And uh, a little bit of a saw this page or not on your page or not. <laughs> There's some new ones in this as well as some old ones. This is a beautiful space, it's beautiful in the aisle. And so I always painted and I drew and uh, I thought that's what I want to do. But then when I was in college, I picked up a guitar for the first time and I was like, oh no, now I, I think I want to do that too. So I, I had a hard time picking. So this project, these paintings here are for a project I created, which was uh, this book here, Wilderman's Treetop Tales. And it is filled with poems and song lyrics. Uh, so this is a tree house, you know, and so you get the lyrics in the air next to the painting and there's an album that goes with it. You can listen to the music. It's also on YouTube. You can get most of this music on, it's called Wilderman's Treetop Tales. If you look that up, you'll find it on YouTube. And you can listen to all these songs. This is just a silly poem. But it's great to have real paintings behind me for these. So. Um, I'm going to start with a song that's the cover of the book. It's called Deep Woods Jam, and it's basically, I wrote this, taking out the garbage. I heard music way off in the distance, and I thought, what if I was a little kid again? And I followed that music into the forest, and I found all these animals playing music. So here we go. This is the first song. Play a little harmonica with it. Thank you. 
Sometimes we would stay up really 
So it, sometimes you learn lessons when you don't expect to learn lessons. I thought I was able to learn about fish. When fishing with, uh, when I was with my grandfather, we learned more about life than I did about fishing. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to tell you a little bit how I go about these. Um, all these paintings I did, um, in, a, in a matter of a year, I worked on these. Off and on, I play a lot of shows. And, uh, well, I don't usually start with a, a journal, a little sketch pad, and I will do these little thumbnail sketches, which are tiny little sketches, like a thumbnail. And I would scribble them out and I'd imagine what they'd look like. And I usually had a song or a poem I was imagining what it already looked like. But uh, sometimes I was just making it up, using my imagination. And so I'd sketch it out and then I'd take it and I'd take a marker or a pen or a pencil and I'd take a blank canvas like these and I would just start scribbling what I saw in that little thumbnail sketch. And so I'd have a rough sketch of it before on, on the canvas before I start putting paint on it. And I use acrylic paints. And at first I would uh, layer these colors and I'd do maybe some dark lines where there are already sketches. And that would be my first layer. It was just big blotchy colors just so I know where they it all laid out design-wise. And then I just go in and in and layer little details takes about four layers of that, just kind of going, okay, I'm going to get a little more layers, a little more pizzazz. <laughs> and, uh, and that ends up being what you see it from in, behind me here. Um, it's, it's been kind of fun to, to explore because I have to paint really fast on these big canvases though I can use bigger brushes. I'm not very good at getting real tight little detail stuff, so I get to use big motions, which I like to do. So. There are 15 paintings in the book. Um, some of them are poems. I'm trying to think, like this one here is a poem. This is called Umbrella. And it's just a silly little poem I wrote for my son. He was four at the time. And I thought, oh, I could maybe make him laugh at some of these goofy poems. So this one goes like this Umbrella. Don't hold too tightly to an umbrella in the wind. Just let go when it starts to blow or we'll never see you again. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun writing these silly little poems for my son. There's a few of them in there that are, are, are pretty good. There's a one about birds in there. I'll maybe do that one next after I sing one more song. Uh, let's do one here. This is called Toffle the Tomcat. Toffle the Tomcat was a true cat that I knew when I was younger. It was the meanest, grumpiest old farm cat I ever knew. He looks pretty grumpy here. And he was old, and he was stinky. And he, when he came to our door, you know how they say cats have nine lives? He was on his ninth line, no doubt, because he had scars and scratches from his long life out there on the farm. And he was mean. Well, one day he showed up sick, and we knew he wasn't feeling well because I finally got to pet him for the first time. I'm like, this is not normal for Toffle. We named him Toffle to make him seem a little friendlier than he actually was. But we pet him, and he came in. He even let me put him in a car carrier. We took him to the vet, and the vet gave him some shots and some antibiotics, but it made him a little woozy, but he was so friendly. So I thought, Tuffle is now my cat. So we took him inside for the night, and we thought it's not safe for Tuffle to be outside. So we let, let him sleep inside. Well, he was he just went right to bed. Well, the next morning, the you know, medicine had worn off, and Tuffle was not my cat anymore. He was a wild creature, tore around the house and tore up the living room. The kitchen and we finally opened up the door and he took off for the hills. I never saw him again. He's the most ungrateful creature you've ever met. But I often think about Toffa. Whenever I meet a grumpy person, I think, you know what, I'm glad I gave Toffa, we gave Toffa a little love towards the end of his life on his ninth walk. Because maybe that was why he was so grumpy. And maybe that's why people are grumpy. They haven't gotten enough love in their life. So I give a little love to those grumpy people as well. So, so love.
bless and abuse you. But anyway, this is called Toffle the Tomcat. I know Toffle was long gone up to kitty heaven because that was a long time ago, and like I said, he was old. And uh, so I wonder if he's terrorizing kitty heaven right now <laughs> in his grumpy ways. But here we go, Toffle the Tomcat. finished the poem, but when I was started painting it, I my daughter, who was eight at the time, I asked her, what should I paint? She goes, the daughter of the wind. I'm like, what does she look like? Well, she's going to dance on the clouds, and so that's where this came from, and I'm, I'm going to have fun writing that one, because I, I haven't finished the poem for that one. She's going to be the daughter of the wind. So I get a lot of different ideas from that. Other times I'm just walking in nature. This next one over here is this one's called A Little Rain. And uh, it just was inspired by a puddle that I saw. I saw this puddle, I'm like, ooh, where does that come from? What it's kind of neat to think about where every raindrop flows in our water systems. And so I was walking, I was thinking, where does this little creek turn into a bigger river? And we'll go into the ocean eventually. But it all started with a rain cloud. You know? So I wrote this little song called A Little Rain, but I don't know it well enough to sing for you. So I'm going to sing it right now. That's where inspiration comes from. It's all these different things. If I get out in nature, I get lots of ideas. Also talking to people. People gives me a lot of ideas for that. So I um, never saw myself doing this for a living, but I really glad I get to put all the things I love into one thing. I get to put art, music, reading and writing, and working with kids. Those are all the things that I love to do anyway. So when we put them all together, I'm just the happiest man alive. So, <laughs> all right. Can you talk about the otter? Which one? The, otter. the old otter. Yes. The otter is called, this one's called Old Otter Blues. And we can go take a look at that. This one is going to, it's going to be the next book. It's going to be part of, the, it might be the cover for the next one. And it is about how we all move through dark, some sad times. And uh, but this otter has figured out that as long as he sings, it's called Old Otter Blues. And when they say yeah, blues, it usually means you're kind of sad and you're going through a hard time. 
And so he finds that singing helps him with those feelings. And so he sits around the fire, and in the song, all these animals start gathering along, and suddenly Robert is not alone anymore. So you can take a look close up if you want. You've got a raccoon, you got the owl. It's very similar to Wilderness Tree Top Tales. But I thought that would be kind of a neat way to continue on the tradition. But it's something that I don't know the whole song right now because it's a, it's a new one. share it to uh, Ward Cultural Center page and you share it to your friends and we'll be doing more of this kind of stuff. These wilderness exhibits travel around. So. I think I'll do one that um, had evidently a lot of people are singing it at Farmer's Market up in Sioux City because they heard this song and they liked it so they covered it. It's called Treehouse. And I didn't have a treehouse growing up. I had a friend that had a tree house, and I always imagined, what would I have if I had a tree house? I'd want a lot of animals, and I'd want my friend in there would tell these scary stories. So that's where this poem, or this uh, song comes from. It goes like this. Oh, I built a tree house in my backyard. I built a tree house in my backyard. I built a tree house in my backyard. Won't you come stay with me? It'll hold nine dogs, 33 cats, 55 bullfrogs, 27 bats.
this exhibit's going to be around for just a little while longer. And uh, so if you see it in the next day or so, maybe it'll still be up. And uh, let, me, uh, let me know if you saw this video. Share it away. And uh, thanks again. Have a good day. Yeah.